In this digital age, there are a variety of ways for interacting with customers and capturing their business. But when you're a physical store, getting people through the doors can be rough. So how can you get their butts out of the seats and into your store? Hi, I'm Sarah, your friendly neighborhood marketing gal. And today I'm gonna give you 12 ways to increase foot traffic to your brick and mortar store. Let's dive in. Increasing foot traffic doesn't happen by accident. It's a common problem faced by a whole bunch of stores. And sometimes it requires out of the box ideas to draw attention to your store and making visits worthwhile. It's kind of sad how dependent we've become on home deliveries lately. Ooh, that's kind of awkward. <clears throat> that was kind of ironic. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's go into those 12 ideas. <clears throat> Number one, put out a water bowl and free samples. Sometimes you can beckon passerbys with the simplest of amenities, such as a water bowl outside of your store or a display with free samples, ideally from local purveyors. These get people to stop outside of your store so their pet can take a drink of water on a hot day or have a snack. While they're at it, they're more likely to take notice of what you have to offer. From there, they may be more likely to step inside and check your store out. Number two, use eye-catching banners or sandwich boards. This practice is especially important if your store is located off the beaten path or is hard to identify. Sometimes a good old fashioned sandwich board can do the trick, or you might invest in some local banners that really catch the eye. You can even set up some small directional signs at key intersections to make sure people know you exist just around the corner or down the side of a road. Also, Lovely window displays are a known way to boost foot traffic. Just make sure your signage is in a compliance with local ordinances or regulations set by your you know, downtown association, neighborhood group, you get my point. Number three, support in-store pickups and returns. Even if you sell your goods online, you can offer in-store pickups as a way to get local community members to come into your store. Additionally, many people prefer to return items in person, and by allowing them to do so, you increase the chance that they'll exchange the product for something else or continue shopping. Both of these give you more face time with customers, especially to aid in what can otherwise be a stressful process. Encourage your sales representatives to ask what was wrong with the item and to suggest viable alternatives. Number four. Run an in-store only promotion. One simple and straightforward idea for attracting more traffic to your store is to run a promotion that's only applicable to in-store purchases. Mail out a coupon that is only redeemable at the store or spread the word on your social media channels that customers will get a discount if they visit on the promotion day and give a certain code. You can also email or mail out birthday coupons that must be redeemed at the shop. This is a great way to get your various channels working together to increase in-store shopping. Number five, support community groups. Make your store a welcoming place for your particular audience and other like-minded individuals to gather and socialize. For example, Maybe a dog walking group wants to use your shop as the place they convene for their start of their outings. Or if you have the space, you could set up a little area for pet play dates. Offering opportunities such as these demonstrates that you care about your customers, their pets, and their community. Number six, offer a bring a friend discount. Another way to increase foot traffic to your store is to offer a promotion that encourages customers to bring a friend. If they both make a purchase, they each receive a discount on their items. Not only do you drive more traffic to the store during the campaign, but you also increase the potential of introducing new people to your establishment and creating repeat customers. Hey, before I get to the rest of the tips, if you found this information helpful so far, please tap that like button. And if you aren't subscribed yet, maybe you should. All right, on with the rest of the content. Number seven, many retail shops that face tough competition from digital channels continue to thrive by offering supplementary resources and experiences for customers. For example, hosting events such as classes, workshops, and presentations. 
For your store, consider hosting a lecture by a local veterinarian or pet nutritionist, holding training sessions for new pet owners, or even partnering up for a pet adoption drive, if you are a pet store. You could also put on a pet supply exchange where customers could bring in old items that they no longer use, such as cages, dishes, grooming, pets. This could also work for a lot of other industries. Number eight, <laughs> improve your Google business profile. Since many customers use Google to search your retail business, double check that your listing is up to snuff. Keep your hours and contact information updated and accurate. Add high quality pictures of your store and inventory. Encourage customers to leave reviews. Whatever you can do to make your store appealing and accessible will help drive customers to it. Number nine, keep your inventory fresh and seasonal. Give your people a reason to periodically stop in your store by ensuring your merchandise is fresh. Repeat customers will start to grow an expectation of seeing something new and different each time that they visit. Also, align a portion of your inventory with the season. As customers' needs and preferences change throughout the year, keep your customers in the know about new arrivals or seasonal supplies via email advertisements and your social media. You can even create an Instagram reel or TikTok video highlighting your new inventory. Number 10, <laughs> track performance. No matter what type of store advertising campaign or promotion you run, track the results using retail analytics. Your measurements don't need to be overly complicated. There are several retail analytics software tools you can implement to help, but you'll never know how effective your marketing campaign is if you don't track and analyze the results. Number 11, supplement your stuff with services. People still visit stores despite having ample online options because of the experience. Find ways to enhance the in-store experience by offering perks and services along with your merchandise. For example, you could set up an attractive display for people to take photos with their friends or provide the service professionally. Encourage people to share their photos on social media with a hashtag that highlights their store. Other ideas can include holding a one-off pop-up with a local partner or offer pet sitting or dog walking for customers while they shop. Services such as these encourage customers to linger longer in your store and give them an overall better experience with your brand. Number 12, join in community festivities. If your business park or neighborhood association is putting on a festival, seasonal celebration, or other community-centered event, partake in the festivities. Do a giveaway at your store, offer treats, or hold an activity both to support the broader initiative and to benefit your business individually. Or you can put on your own party to celebrate the anniversary of your storefront or some other special occasion. People like a fun initiative to come out, celebrate, and socialize with others. Bringing it all together. Okay, that was a lot of good info, but let's do a quick recap. Here are all 12. Put out a bowl of water and free sample. Use eye-catching banners or sandwich boards. Support in-store pickups and returns. Run an in-store only promotion. Support community groups. Offer a bring a friend discount host engaging events, improve your Google business profile, keep inventory fresh and seasonal, track your performance, supplement stuff with services, and join in community festivities. If you found this information helpful, please tap that like button so this video can find its way to others. And if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, do it. I share lots of marketing content without all the jargon. But that's it for now. I'm Sarah from Third Angle. Thanks for watching. We're gonna try. Lovely window displays and cars driving by at inconvenient times. Little area for plet, for plet. Dang it. It was such a good read through the first time. From third angle, and I can never get this into outro right. <laughs>